Okay, dudes and dudettes, it's Pro Spartan Gamer back here, and it's episode 47 of our SP Spartans Master League series on PES 2016. And it's a double header of highlights, and it's Tottenham Hotspur, as you can see there at Spartan Park, followed by Leicester. I'm not sure whether the Leicester game is home and away. Tottenham beat us 2 1 at White Hart Lane earlier on in the season. We want a bit of a wobble off form has dipped just a little bit and it's not helped by people missing today. We have no Razor Bazaar today, he's out. And the goalie Callard cannot be replaced because we went and done a schoolboy error and we don't have another goalie anywhere at the moment on the bench. Tottenham are going to be tough, we know that. Um, we've gone with Bickle and Nordved in, in front of the back four today and Fofana just playing in the middle slightly deeper. Second game out for Rudiger and Bruno Perez. They weren't amazing in that first game against West Bromwich Albion. Hopefully they can show a little bit more today. We need a performance. Spartan Park expects. I expect a response. We've just gone a little bit stale. We had that really nice... You know, we got bought in a couple really good players we hope are going to be really good. Rudiger and Bruno Perez. We've just got to make sure that it doesn't derail us from what we're aiming to do here. It would be fantastic if we can get Europa League football. Top 10 would be fantastic as well. But obviously Europa League would be a real result for us. But obviously with the new players coming in, the team spirit does get knocked. And at the moment we're only on 91, which is the lowest we've been for a long time in the season. So Tottenham, obviously with lots of team spirit, they've been together. They got 98, so it's going to be tough for us to knock them down and beat them. It's not going to be easy. Anyway, highlights of this game to come, dudes. Hopefully we can get back on the horse, like we say, and make some things happen here. Very good from Lipton. Bruno Perez, can we see something of this guy? Very good from him, and Carrasco in space. King Carrasco, oh, he's hit it wide, gone stale recently as well, Carrasco, but much more encouragement there from Bruno Perez, some good action from him, first time we've really seen him, had to be across the keeper from King Carrasco, but no, he went for blood and guts at the near post, did score against Tottenham in the away leg, when he went on a little run of three or four goals and four games he's not hit that summit since Lipton started this game excellently Perez again the eight ball at the moment brilliant from Bruno Perez it's fallen to Tyve! Oh, come on, Tyve! Come on, son! Expected that one to go in. His lightning pace took him across the defender. He had the angle he likes. He dragged it back across like he likes. But on this occasion, it's beat the near post as well. And Tyve, you know. You know that should have been 1 0. You know how important it is to get this first goal for us. One nil, one nil. As soon as he got in, he turned. Is that Ericsson? Yeah, we knew it was a goal. One chance, Charlie's again. Look at him in front of the Spartan fans. They are very lucky. They had, had a rotten apple thrown in their face then, or half eaten steak and mushroom pie or something. Really are going that close to him. Watch this. Nudved had to do better then, but once again, his clumsy touch. Oh, clutter touch, really, and Rudiger sold, sold cheap on the edge of the box. No chance for Callard. And they've got an undeserved lead here on 26 minutes. Come on, boys, you can get back into this. Bruno Perez trying to bend it. Does bend it? Oh, what a save from Lloris. Brilliant touch from Abu Bakr. Great ball from Bruno Perez. That's the first time we've seen that from him. That is quality. 
Boot back had all the time in the world. Did strike it well. Oh, it's past Hugo Lores when he makes a save. Quality keeping. Missing Razor Bazaar today, there's no doubt about it. Tiny's finished it though, and it's 1 1, and it's a lovely ball. For, I think it was a boot backer picked him, and Tyvee's made up for the earlier miss, and he's absolutely hammered that into the roof of the net. Save that one, Hugo Lloris. No chance to so suck on that, you bitch. Yeah, bend down and pick it out. Toivy's back. The Frenchman's put it past the Frenchman. And then some. God, didn't he whack that past him? I think it was a boot back on. It's a nice pick out. Lovely touch from Toivy. Missed one earlier. Wasn't going to miss another. He rifled that into the net. And we are back on terms. And the front two combine again. It's been a long time since those two have combined. They have looked livelier in this game. They could have both had a... A goal apiece before this goal's gone in. Thankfully, we've got the equaliser on 40 minutes. Good game of football. This is the sort of level we're at, I think. Gotta be honest, we can compete with Tottenham. There's no reason we can't. Outstanding from Tyvee. Brilliant from Tyvee. Oh, what a goal that would have been. One of the goals of the century. Outstanding feet over on the wing. It's 1 1 here at Spot and Park. And we've probably had the lion's share of chances. Like I said, they are one shot Charlies, and they are. You can see it there. Don't think there's too much we can do at half time to change this. I'm going to stick with what we've got. We've done all right. We just. Need a bit more killer instinct from the front boys today. They've usually got it. Give them another chance. Hopefully they'll put it away. Oh, Perez at fault. Tried to play it back across the lip. Then he's got it horribly wrong. And HM Song has banged it in the net. You cannot give them a sniff. Because they will just punish you. And we've been punished really strongly there again for the second time two mistakes two goals for Tottenham Bruno Perez got it all wrong here he's looking for that easy ball to be fair I don't know how he's quite controlled it as well as he has it it's drilled at him and he's drilled it into the net and they are 2-1 up two chances two goals for Tottenham we are making it difficult for ourselves Well out as a mower. Real dangerous. Ball across that was. Spartans really struggling at the moment. Stay in the game. Spurs at the moment. Looking like they're going to make it free. What a save from Callard. Fantastic fingertips from Callard. From Ericsson. That looked like it was going to be free. Tyvee wins ball. A lovely ball to Bickle. Oh, tries to bend it across. No one was there quick enough. Once again, another awful pass from Perez. And this cost us another goal. What is Bruno Perez doing? I can't even watch it. Won the ball and gives it away. Ridiculous from Perez. At the moment he's looking like he's a, coming as a traitor or something in the ranks. Gifted Tottenham two goals today. Can't see him starting the next game. Salmon will be back in. Perez. Looking like a big waste of money at the moment. 
Brilliant from the two front boys. Toivy trying to get it back to Abu. Desperate to try and get back into this game. Perez, oh, he let that run through as well. El Stencio from Perez, stinking the place out. Such a good start to the game, he looked so useful in that first half. This has been a really poor performance. Started well. He's gone from bad to worse really. Fofana the only one putting in a real proper shift. Not seen anything from Azamoa. Nelanda's come on and not been the best. Tyve and Abu back have tried, but it's failed. They missed chances in the first half that would have made it a different game. Two real glaring mistakes from Bruno Perez has cost Tottenham and gifted two goals to HM Song. And we've got comfortably beaten here in the first of the two matches in episode, whatever it is. That was poor. Perez 5.5. Hope this is an embarrassment for the rest of them to be associated with him. Can I have a good talking to him? We're slipping down the table now in ninth. Tottenham go up the sixth where we would like to be. We've still got a chance. We've got to turn it around and get some results on the table. Lest those Europa Cup places will be a far-fetched stream. We are starting to lose a lot more games now. We really are. We need a response. We need Razor Bazaar back. That's what we need. He is back, but Fofan is missing. Double-edged sword. You get one back, you miss the other. That's bad news. Lars Anderson's going to have to come in there. Down to 89. Salmon back in today. Bruno Perez is going to have to put up a place on the bench. Let's stay on the bench there, actually. Big miss, Fofana, but hopefully we can do okay. Lars Anderson in the day. Vardy and Danny Ings up top. We will change our strip. We're going to play in our fourth kit. We've not worn it hardly at all this season. Let's have a go in it, away from the new kits. A kit from last season. Hopefully it will bring us some luck. We need a result here. Wheels just starting to creak. They've not fallen off altogether. It's still a lot better season than we thought we were going to have. But they certainly need oiling. And there's certainly a few creaks coming in. We did beat Leicester in the home fixture. And it's a game that we would be looking to win really. But we're on a rough tra track. And our team spirit is down pretty low at the moment. It's all back today though. He makes a big difference. That is, oh, boo boo! They're just making those runs a little bit too early. That's tight. That could have easily been let go. To be fair, go on, boo boo. Tyvee, lovely work between the front two. Beautiful work from Abu Bakr, and there they are, the dream pair. And we've cashed in on a defensive howler by them. Good, because we had two ourselves in the last game. And Tyvee, what a nice finish. Well played. We took that really well. We could have gone many ways. Abu Bakr could have drove it in himself, but he gifted it to Tyvee. And Tyvee 2-2 two two now. Look at this. You're thinking a boo boo go on, but it's on his left, don't forget. Does well. Does very well, and it's a nice finish and tight. Need to stay in this game now, leading it and trying to get a second. As a mower, need him to get on the ball so much more than what he has done recent ma matches. Toivy can bring it, the space in front of him.
That's nice from the two of them. Nice keep ball from the Spartans there. Oh. Tyve. Oh, Spartans started this game. There you are, Razor Bazaar. Asamo in space. Oh, look at Tyvee flinging himself. Lovely football, Spartans. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Some fantastic interchange. Some lovely football. He didn't quite catch it, but the banks nearly went in from a boo-boo. Scintillating stuff from the Spartans. Deserved a goal. Carrasco. Oh! How's that kept out from a boot back? I'll never know. Rudiger. Brilliant work from Tyvee again. Raise up his all. Oh. There's the ball in. It's Carrasco's goal. And it's 2 0. And how he deserved it. And it's a fantastic ball into the box from the Ghanaian Azamoa. Fantastic play. Whipped it in with so much cheese and topping on it. Really was. Real whipped cream of a ball. Whisk at full, full speed. Look at this. Real dream topping. Whipped into the light. Look at that. Bend on it. And Carrasco studs it into the net. And how we deserve the two. Been scintillating. We've had a real rocket, I think, in the changing rooms. Been told to come out and play. After that appalling display in the second half against Tottenham. And it's... We are looking very good in Carrasco. Not been on it lately. He hadn't scored for a while. That was a good goal. 2 0 after half an hour here. And it's been one of the best half an hours of recent weeks. Go for the throat, spot, and Don't you dare sit back and think it's over and done with. I'm sure they won't. Oh, Tyvee was lining up. As a mower. Tyvee going for the 1 2, but got to get the pass off right. Brilliant first half. Last 15 months are great. But there he is. Carrasco with the second. Tyvee with the first. It's been a very good spot in performance. Just make sure you don't lose it. Just keep going. Given less than nothing, to be fair. Let's make sure we keep focused. Lars Anderson's not really offered a great deal today. Could be a chance to give Joel Tagu some game time as well. He's on a red. If we can get another goal, we'll take a boo backer off. But I'd like to give a boo backer a chance to get a goal today. Razor is all. Salmon. It's opening up for Salmons. Oh, what a good shot. Keeper had to make the save. The breaks on for Nathan Dyer. Look at him. Razor Bizarre. Been great to have him back today. He's been fantastic. Anderson. Looking for Carrasco. Oh. Oh, and how's a boo back? I miss that. There's a lovely ball in from Carrasco. Drove it right in between defender and keeper, and I didn't know what to do with it. And the boo backer. Wow. Not sure how he's missed that. Yeah, it looks. You can see it on his face, the despair. And there will be changes now. 66 minutes. The boo back will be one of them for Joe to go on the red. Staffy Didas will come on for Azamoa. And we will have a look at Bruno Perez for Carrasco. 
some changes. Milan Carrasco, good game from him as a mower. That assist for the second goal. Good 25 minutes for Joe to go. Not seen a lot of him. Lars Anderson. Tyvee to wrap up the points. Great play from Anderson. And Tyvee with his second of the, not of the game. Three and two for him. Vintage Tyvee. Great play from Anderson. Lovely play. Waited and waited. Thought Joel Tagu was going to make a run. He didn't. In the end, it was Tyvee who made the run. Lovely first touch. Even better second. And that sealed an emphatic win here at the Kings Power Stadium. And Anderson finally delivers something of craft. What a lovely finish from Tyvee. Tyvee on course for 20 this season. Which is all you could ask for him. After 50 from last season. He's got a great chance of being one of the only few Spartans. I think Stimmage the only Spartan to ever make get 100 career goals. Lipton good. Nordved. Bruno Perez. Directness from Perez. Oh! Nearly got a deflection for an own goal. Trying to square it for Tyvee. Good play from Bruno Perez. Showing that he has got something in his locker going forward. Oh, Anderson tries to bend it. And just bends it wide. It's all Spartans now. The third goal really has given him that cushion. One of the comfortable games we've had. The whole season, really. Just tries to bend it, but it's never coming back from there. Got his angles wrong. Lipton with a fantastic tackle. And Bruno Perez with a chance to open his legs again. Oh, trying to thread it into Tyvee for a hat trick. Comfortable 3 0. Really good away performance from the Spartans. Makes the loss to Tottenham easier to bear. Really does. They had absolutely nothing about them. They really didn't. Didn't even manage a shot, Leicester. That's a domination. I mean, Tyvee gets man of the match, but for me, it's razor bizarre. Having him back in the side made a huge difference today. Really did. Salmon done well as well, to be fair. It's a tough battle between those two. He's going to stay at right back. I mean, Bruno Perez has not started very well with those two awful blunders. Whole win at Southampton. Other results, Liverpool lose to Everton in the Merseyside Derby. Fantastic. That'd be lovely. We are up to seventh. So it's still there for us if we wanna if we wanna believe that we can take that place. We just gotta carry on fighting for it. It is there, it's gonna be tough. Look at the teams below us. Man City and Arsenal, they're gonna have a big say in it, to be fair. But if we can win enough games to stay there. I would be delighted with Europa League football next year. That would be fantastic. Looks like Chelsea are going to win the league. They're, headed, they're six points clear now. For my beloved Everton putting up a real fight in second place. Nice to see. Years and years of them being down the bottom on pairs. Hopefully is a thing of the past. And we are actually getting some recognition for being a half sensible side. Maybe not as high as second. But at least in the top eight maybe. Anyway, thanks for joining me as always. It really is appreciated. Cheers, dude.